Greetings Cornerinos and very welcome to another uh, episode of Ian's VR Streaming Corner. Let me shift over here so I'm a little bit more central to the camera. Hope you're all very well. Uh, if you've just stumbled across this channel, hello, my name's Ian Hickton. That's how you follow me on Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter and find out all my updates for streams and things, uh, I am one third of Team Eurogamer, uh, the YouTube channel, and uh, I like... VR a lot. I'm big into VR. And uh, on this channel, my hobby channel, Platform 32, I have this little thing called Ian's VR Streaming Corner, which is where once every either Tuesday or Thursday I stream a VR game. Um, uh, and uh, I've got a few VR games I haven't played before to, to get through. Um, and this one <laughs> is the one that caught my eye the most. It's called Time Carnage. And it looks like, I, well, it kind of seems like it might be a cross between Time Crisis and Dinosaurs. So uh, I'm going to be interested to see how this goes. This is made by Wales Interactive, who haven't been pushing out the most quality-rific titles on PlayStation VR. They did Donut twice, which I absolutely tore to shreds this take live stream ages ago. Uh, but I'm going to be playing through this for a bit. If it's super rubbish, I have another um, box set here. Uh, where's my camera? There it is. It's just got five games on. Dext, Bandit 6, Combined Arms, Corix, Unearthing Mars, and Fated Silent Oath. Five of the best VR games of 2017. So you can tell I'm up to date with my VR coverage here. If you do want to see up to date VR coverage, do check out Eurogamer's YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Eurogamer. That's where I do Ian's VR Corner, which is me being a massive dickhead and playing like brand new games, giving you my first impressions whilst. Uh, bookending them with really shit childish jokes. So, uh, yeah, if that sounds like your kind of thing, you've got that now, but unextended and uncut as I play Time Carnage. Oh, hey, dinosaurs! Roar! Says Reckless Rex, who is a big dinosaur fan. Uh, Reckless Rex said that on the loot message that popped up there, obviously, because uh, I'm going to be wearing this in a second. I'm not going to be able to read any loot messages, so um, if you do send them along, uh, thank you very much in advance. I get, like, a little tips from the adverts. It doesn't cost you anything, but um, I get a little bit of advert kickback. Not much, but it, it, it helps them buy packets of sweeties and cat treats for Titch every so often. So thanks for those in advance. Let's see who is watching before I kick off. Uh, yeah, we've got Angel Beat, and all that Fruit Bat, Dragon Botherer, Emma Benton, Epizo, and Hockey Rock, Juke to Juke, Kate Lady, Longhorn, Nightcap, Pete Douglas, Reckless Rex, Spiders by Castaway, DC Vandal, and Vicky Warren. They're all chatting. We've got 56 people in total joining us. So let's go and see. Let's see how time carnage is. I, I'm actually, I can't, I'm actually quite excited. Um, I've, I've not seen any reviews or anything of this game. I can only imagine it's terrible. But those gloves are quite nice. The gloves are nice, and this kind of like weird science room's pretty cool. I'm just going to centre my vision so I'm in the right place. And my arms, my hands, there we go, my hands will come back to me. I'm going to check the options quickly as well. I do like to find out what kind of settings they have. Uh, what? Press grab button to pick up and drop the weapon. That's that. Is that the. Press trigger to shoot the weapon. A drop weapon will reload on its charging podium. Okay, so we're not going to be moving around anywhere or anything like that. It looks like this is going to be a wave shoot. I hate wave shoot. I'm not a massive fan of wave shooters. We've got challenges in here. They're all locked. I guess maybe they'll end up being achievements. Got some stats. Never played this game before. Look. Uh, two weapons unlocked already. I guess that must be the, the starting two weapons. So yeah, let's kick off the campaign. Fourth millennium. Through time, space and alternate dimensions, the new frontier is on the horizon. We can go anywhere at any time and we can rebuild our species as we see fit. We see endless possibilities, a world with no boundaries and nothing holding us back. Your forthcoming trials will shape our movements, so choose your load out wisely. I will do. That's a good idea. Very good. This is a such a good idea. Ian, please bounce the audio. Oh, 
What? 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 That'll do for my audio. That might help. Now, with the uh, the channels. Do do do. You're kind of annoying. Um, and. I, I, just, I explained at the start of the stream that I can't read comments with the helmets on, so please don't get aggressive with me in the comments. Um, I will read them when I can. Right. Let's go. Let's bring the game audio down a little bit. Capture device there. There we go. Righty ho, let's go and kick some dinosaurs in the butt. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm putting my safety straps on because the last thing you want to do is drop your controller when a dinosaur's eating your face. Right, Morganville, America. Nuclear fallout has driven the human race underground, leaving behind a hostile virus that plagues its hosts. Don't let your enemies get too close. I think it's going to be a static shooting gallery. Wave-based wave static shooting gallery is what I think it's going to be. Choose your weapons. All right. Can I have four weapons? No. Why would you choose the pistol when you can have an Uzi? I can have four Uzis. What am I like? Um, what's his name? The one from Star Wars with the four lightsabers. I'm him. Back. Oh no. Oh shit, nuts. I missed the word start right in the centre. And go. Ooh. Oh, I'm on a. Oh. That's weird. It's like a. Oh. This is definitely a lot better produced than. Um, don't knock twice was. Seems that the graphics are a little bit better. The, the, the bubble there was cool. Complete. Grab button and pick up and drop a weapon. Right, let's check, see if the audio is okay. General Grievous, that's it. General Grievous. Kick dino's butts sounds unwise. Unwise is my middle name. Press the grab button to pick up and drop a weapon. Okay. This is what was in the this is what was in the settings menu. Where is the weapons? Oh, here they come. Nice. They don't look like dinosaurs. And when you when you shoot them in the head, uh you get a cash register wave noise. Complete. Prepare for next wave. Okay. Burp, burp, burp. Not a hundred percent sure about the sound effects they've chosen for this game, but um, um, I mean, the lands the 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 landscape looks quite nice. Feels full. But the zombies, the animation, the zombies are all identical, cut and paste, with the same animation, wave which complete. is a little bit... Prepare for next uh, wave. Seems a little bit budget. You can kind of tell that this is um, early doors PSVR release. Not really got to... Ooh. Oh, God. Not really got to grips with the, uh, the different kind of things that can be done and they're just like capturing the fact that everyone loves shooting guns in VR the first time they play it. Shooting guns in VR the first time you do it is cool. You're like, whoa, I'm in VR, shooting guns, it's awesome. But yeah, it just kind of, it gets a little, it does get a little bit boring after a while just standing still and shooting guns at targets. That's why I wasn't a massive fan. Well, I wasn't a fan of Dick Wilde too at all, to be completely honest. Um, I just I like a little bit more depth to my experiences, especially seeing as there's been I have played so many good PSVR games, um, PSVR games that have shown 
real like talent and inventiveness and like crazy ways to make things more immersive. Shields full. This is more this isn't very immersive at all. This is this is the sort of thing you could probably expect to see like I don't know, in a, a cheap fairground maybe, a cheap fairground attraction. It's alright. It's like completely wave like complete. zero, zero nausea. It's it's a good one for first time players in VR. There's no movement at all, so you can just stand here and be nice and chill. Um, and the, because of the shield as well, the monsters don't get up in your face, which can be quite intimidating for first time users of VR. Oh. That slowed down time, that was kind of cool. Uh, slowed down time while there was nothing there. Do the red barrels explode is what I was... Yeah. Ooh. slow mo explosions. Splo slow plosions? slow plosions. slow plosions. Oh. So yeah, like this... Oh, God. Having the... Oh, my gun floated up there. The shield looks like it's breaking down. Things are getting a little bit more hectic now. Starting to feel like I might get a little bit overwhelmed. I'm not. I'm. I'm waiting for the the, the, the dinosaurs though. Oh, nice! Take that, you floppy bastard! I've shot many zombies in video games, but not many dinosaurs. Prepare for next wave. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody, shoot some dinosaurs. So yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to shoot some dinosaurs in the thighs. Not poor little puppies. Oh! Oh, they're not actually puppies. They don't seem to have any eyes. They kind of look more like like pinky demons from Doom. Shields full. Who would it, who who picks pist who would have picked the pistols for this? Just for me. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. Prepare for wave seven. I wonder how many waves there are. I'm gonna guess ten. So there's what could this game have done to improve the immersion? Uh, uh, for a start the sound effects are really poor. Everything's a bit tinny and it doesn't really Cool. It's, it's not really conveying any kind of sense of threat. Uh, I guess like having these recharge pods are good for like beginner, easy to pick up and play VR. But it's always the, the act of like ejecting a magazine and putting a new one in. It's always cool. That kind of thing's pretty cool. Um, and of course, having a way to move around would have been good. Also, like a variation in the monsters. Some, some kind of... Uh, something other than just the same two things coming at us all the time. Would be nice. Oh, poor little pup. I like the way that their bodies still move. You can still shoot their bodies when you're down. Ah, there was two zombies like merged into each other then. They were properly having a kiss. A kiss and a cuddle. Zombie kiss cuddles. Didn't even see the trailer for the new uh, Detective Pikachu movie, by the way. Not sure about Ryan Reynolds. Looks kind of good, but I'm not sure about Ryan Reynolds' way. voice on Pikachu. It doesn't seem to fit very well. It does. It's like it's not. It doesn't seem like Detective Pikachu's saying those words. It's, it's like Ryan Reynolds is, has been like dubbed over Pikachu. I don't know. Maybe it'll look better in the cinema. I definitely want to go see it. Detective Pikachu for the lols! Uh, 
up. It's getting a bit spicier now. My gun's flying away from me, but it's still doing its job, so that's good. But it's really not... Just like the dinosaurs, it's failing to evolve so far. <laughs> they, didn't, they probably did evolve, but they didn't evolve from the final four because of the asteroid. It's because of the asteroids! Is there a way to pause this game? Oh, there is. Let's see. Just make sure the shooting's not drowning me out. This game is shite, and the more. One more thing. The campaign takes place over four stages with four levels each, each containing ten waves. For, so, for those who hate maths, it's 160 waves. God damn. Vincent Stills from the Detective Pikachu movie trailer. We'll watch it later. There is a fluffy Snorlax fruit bat, you're correct. Lovely fluffy Snorlax. Snorlax. This is basically House of the Dead. It's the type of game that's set up VR and arcade to play. You're correct, Spider's Boy. Yeah, I mean, if you had a if you had a shop back in the day when PSVR first came about, uh, you could um, you probably have stuck this up on the shop floor and been like, "Hey, come and try out VR." Stop people on one of these, and people would be like, Whoa, it's from zombies. It's crazy, but oh, now I'm taking some hits. But there is, there's no, like, there's nothing in here that's making me go, Wow. Maybe I'd have, maybe it'd have been, maybe I'd have been more impressed back in the, the launch days play games like Firewall Zero Hour and what not. Mission success. Oh, that was close. Oh, look at my health as well, nearly dead. And this seems so, like, basic. A new weapon has been unlocked. Exit. 164 headshots, though. No deaths. Really? Oh, that, that kind of wobbly texture's cool. Ah, my hands. Why can't my fingers move? E.T. Farn home. Morganville, America. 30,092 AD. Wait, isn't that where we've just been? Oh, wait. Okay, it's four levels over four things. Oh, fuck. Uh, am I not even going to get to see any dinosaurs? All right, well, let's go. There's a lot of guns, though, isn't there? How many guns do you get? Five, twenty-five guns. It's, it's not bad. All right. Well, let's start and hope that there's some different enemies. Oh, you have to hold it down. Time carnage. I have no idea how much time carnage costs, but if it's anything over tenner, it's pff, it's not worth getting. Time jump complete. Dark. Do, do, do. Right, let's. Dual wheels some shotguns. That's cool. <laughs> boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Having the fighting guns kind of blocks his view a bit. It's not. No, it's, it's not terrible. Kind of nice complete. moon Prepare for next wave. stars in the sky. The skybox is alright. It's behind me. So we've had demon dogs and demon dogs so far. Anyone else wants some? Anyone else want some? I'm going to shoot the wave next complete. ones with my Prepare gun upside wave. down. Ten, six. This is like, you know, gangsters shoot it sideways. Ultra gangsters shoot them up and down. <gasps> oh. 
Don't know why I'm mimicking kickback from the guns then. Just felt like something a cool movie star would do. I'm a frickin' action hero. Skaboosh, skaboosh, skaboosh. Charge them now, I just wasted my ammo. Right, back to the Uzis. Uh, I guess the balancing act between, you know, the two different guns is fine. A bit of gun drift whenever I put my, my move controller in front of the other, but that happens in a lot of PlayStation VR games. It's just limits of limitations of the technology, I think. Come here, you zombie shit! Did anyone see the new Alan Partridge last night? That was good. I enjoyed the new Alan Partridge. Zombies. Where's my dinosaurs? You can't put dinosaurs wave in the complete. box art and then the next wave. give me such a Jurassic prick tease. Shields full. Jurassic Park. Oh. Huh? Oh. Don't know what happened there. So I think your, your shield... Uh, goes back up again at the end of every round. Oh fuck. It's going down pretty quick now though. What round are we on? Five? Oh five, that's not good. Uh oh. Got him. That's yeah, picking up a, a little bit. Again, it's just the same two models over and over again. Different kind of zombies, maybe. Wave. Some ones that, like, maybe they'll turn up at some point. There'll be, like, a spitty one, maybe, with. You can shoot her some rain. With some... What was that? Oh, oh, oh my, oh my god. Time paradox is the thing that slows time down. Which was useful then because there was like a oh, million puppers trying to eat my face off. Checkpoint reached. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. I've got a wave for you. Ah, funny jokes. Yeah, my health going up a bit. Is it going to go all the way up? Just about. Shields full. I think I need to, yeah, see that, how that, the guns started skipping around then when I crossed my hand, or got them close together, obscured the PlayStation camera with, uh, oh, here we go, this big lad. I wanted to have a better look at him, that time we had someone a bit different. Wave 7 we're on now. These zombies are well easy to take down. Shields full. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. Okay, I will prepare for next wave. Rawr. Oh shit! Oh, that's a got a bit complacent there, didn't I? Ah, oh. game over. Ah, oh, so I have to do that all again. I want to do it all again. <laughs> it's not a good sign, is it? Oh. Well. I want to do it all again. I don't really want to put it on easy. Where's the dinos? Don't touch this at all. Don't 
don't touch this at all, I've lost some of this game. Oh, I can't. I can't back it up. Let's look and know what you're after. What are you after? Where no is it? You cannot find it. No, you must comment on the great sound of it. No idea. A pseudo retro pixelated 2D platformer roguelike. I cannot remember. I think Ian reviewed it for EG at some point. This is, I'm having to read all these backwards. Uh, is it. Uh. Like pr like little sprites, like lemmings. Retro star shit. He wants a good gun sounds. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that is. I know exactly which one you mean. Um. Ah, oh, I know which one you mean, and it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh. Begins like a B or something. I think it's Butcher. Yeah, it's called Butcher. It's really cool. Pretty sure that's what you're, um, <laughs> Ian, stop avoiding playing the game by reading chat, says Unwell. Tee hee! Rumbled! These dinosaurs look a lot like diseased mammals, says uh, Reckless Rex. Alright, we'll try it one more time. I've got plenty of other games that we can play if this one bores the tits off of me. No, I won't put it too easy. That's that's too cheap. But yeah, this is why I don't like wave shooters in VR because um, it doesn't matter how often you throw in a new enemy, it's never often enough. <laughs> to be honest, it's just uh, you just once you've shot one gun, you've basically complete. seen what the game has to offer, which is fine in like a bite-sized situation like say uh, you know a fairground or a shop display but if you're looking for something that's gonna be a lasting gameplay experience cool. I just don't think shooting galleries work that well thankfully we're seeing a lot less of them now uh, we're seeing fewer of them nowadays Wave complete. Um, we are in the, like, last year started to get really good for VR games, and I'm hoping for even better this year, because developers are really catching on now, and they're experimenting a bit. I know I wasn't, like, super impressed with it, but A Fisherman's Tale um, showed promise of, like, a good theme uh, and, like, something different. The trouble, My problem with A Fisherman's Tale, apart from the... Um, the area of action being a bit too small, so I'd clip through the walls all the time. Uh, my problem was that there just complete. wasn't there wasn't Prepare enough of it. It was like a really cool concept, and it, I felt like it just scratched the surface of like what it could have done. Um, but if you think about how video games have evolved over time, and if you imagine that we're at the beginning of the uh, in 10 years time if VR you know doesn't get abandoned the sort of stuff we'll get to play wave in 10 complete. years time prepare for next it's gonna wave. be so cool it's quite it's quite I, I quite like being on the you know on the cusp of it being there at the beginning of something I was there at the beginning of connect and I was kind of interested in connect but connect just didn't work. And I got angry with it. I hated connecting it after being like really keen for it. Because it's like a, oh, holy shit, you can control games with your body. Like, this is a new frontier of video games. But it never, it didn't really, it didn't pull it off. Because it was just so glitchy all the time. Whereas this, you still get glitches with the motion controls in VR. But it, it's a lot more stable. And... Um, you know, head tracking is so good. Wave complete. Prepare yeah. the next wave. I have faith that 
VR will take off. It's going to take a little while. It's got to be cheaper. It's got to come packaged with a console. And uh, having it wireless would be a huge bonus. If everyone who bought a PlayStation 5 got a VR headset included, like, VR would be crazy popular. It's just the fact that PlayStation VR, at least when it launched, was the same price as a, uh, you know, a, another PlayStation 4. <laughs> or maybe even more expensive than a PlayStation 4, to be honest. So there's some barriers to entry that we need to overcome. You know, this is a good time, this is a good time to iron out all the cracks and uh, find out what Wave works and what complete. doesn't work. And like game. I was saying uh, at the start of this stream, this game is from, my, it's one of the earliest releases, I believe. Or is it? Or is Giant it? Paradox. The box, the other box was from 2017. This game was released in, well, this game was released in 2018. So I was going to say, kind of like they're ironing out the cracks a bit with, um, you know, over time. They still are ironing out, but there's, there are still plenty of shit VR games out. But people are <gasps> learning. Learning! Why can't I? Oh, I wasn't learning then. Oh, I died then because I unpaused the game and then forgot how to pick up guns. Oh, I don't know. Should I try a different game? <laughs> I'm bored of this one. It's a bit boring. What do you reckon? Should I try a different one? What? Is my headset really busted? Sorry, I threw my mic down because I normally have it over there. Uh, yeah, this definitely isn't 15, worth fifteen ninety nine. Um, not even when it first came out, to be honest with you. I would... Um, a fiver? Yeah. Fifteen ninety nine. Hell, hell, hell's no. Hell, hell's no. Oh, hell's no. So we got five of the best VR games of 2017 here. Uh, I have actually played one of them. I played Fated, and Fated wasn't one of the best games of 2017. <laughs> to be honest with you, but it was one of the earliest games around. Fated: The Silent Oath is kind of like the story, like it's kind of like a story game where you don't do anything; you just sit around and watch a story. Um, the others, I don't know. You know. Um, Bandit Six Combined Arms. Corix looks like some kind of puzzle game. Unearthing Mars, I don't know what that is, but I've got Unearthing Mars 2 as well, so. It was good enough to make a sequel, I guess. Resi 7 seems to be the pinnacle of PSVR at the moment, says uh, Tony B. Uh, I'd say the pinnacle of PSVR at the moment is Astro Bot, um, but also. Um, Moss is awesome. Uh, Firewall Zero Hour is really good. That's really improved recently in terms of lobbies and things. Beat Saber is probably my most played PSVR game. Absolutely love that. Hold on a second before I put the headset back on. Whoa. That was what is this then? Does it want me to download some things or something? What is it? What is it? 
Uh, let's try Bandit 6 Combined Arms first, because that has the rubbishest um, art. So this is probably going to be the crap one that we want to get out of the way. Done and out of the way. Astrobot Tetris Effect, yeah. Oh, the persistent fruit. The persistence is brilliant. Love the persistence. So we need... Um, I can't... Bloody can't remember the studio name, but they need to make more VR games, the studio that made the persistence. It's bloody great. Uh, the theme on my PC is a theme. Is the theme for um, oh, it's the Justin Roiland game. I did a video on it. Um, oh God, uh, Accounting Plus. It's accounting. Uh, it's the theme for Accounting Plus. It's a PlayStation VR game. Uh, it's very bizarre, just like the theme. Just like uh, the actual game. Okay, be a tail gunner shooting down enemy pilots, or man your guns, and defend vital positions. So we don't get to... We don't get to uh, fly any planes, and I think it's a dual shot. Not sure which one I've clicked on clicked on something and now it's loading bandit 6 press X button to start play see that floor there that's it Ace Combat 7 that's that floor there and that looks much it's pretty, pretty poo Ace Combat 7 looks so realistic select a mission from the mission board press X to continue Oh, it's a nice, big, spacious hangar, but yeah, Ace Combat does it better. Ace Combat does it better. Launch. Take the. I got one gun. Can't buy any more guns. Here we go, Bandit Six. This looks like the sort of game that will keep me occupied for about two seconds. So you target with your head. Okay, that's that's cool. Yellow crosshairs around your yellow arrows are shown locations. Are these turn turn the red. Press X to continue. R2 to fire your guns. And we've seen all the game has to offer already. <laughs> uh, it's nice that I've got a body. This planes attack you, you'll lose your health. Firing your weapons continuously will cause them to overheat. Stop firing to allow them to be Cargo planes will appear as a blue. Shoot a cargo plane and drop a plane. Why would you want to shoot a cargo plane? They're not attacking you. Why is it not taking any damage? Is it invincible? There we go. That was weird. Good show, Good show. Okay, you got the heavy lead power up. This makes your bullets do more damage. All right. The screen below you indicates your progress. Shoot the remaining four enemy planes to complete the mission. Today. So. Your score in a mission is determined on how many stars you Okay, three stars. That was alright. Maybe things will spice up a bit now we're out of the training mission. Gun one. Oh, I, need tw I need 25 stars before I can get any better than gun one. Okay, bandit six. Let's bandit this. This kind of flying straight line. Now. Look at the big, big 
kind of like cool yeah, World War Two. Music. I'm to the light brigade music. I'm trying to, you know, to make things a lot more exciting. Hold thing up. This is just hold down the trigger and look at something. Hey! 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 It's exactly the same as the last game I, I played, but worse. Um, oh, I just... Oh, it turned into ghost. Look at me, I'm a ghost. Oh, I see dead people. Uh, two stars? Rubbish. You now have enough currency to improve your gun. Go to the upgrades menu. Okay, I will. Flames? No, what? Select a gun. Don't get it. Is that not the upgrade menu? Can I... Bandit shit, my life. Oh! Oh! They did some moves. <laughs> so oh, real painful. Oh, they're quite hard to hit now. Oh, it's got to kind of just, well, you, to hit those, you just got to casually shake your head, like a really disappointed shake of the head. Good job, back there. Which is quite easy to play in this game. Let's try it again. Where are they? They're going to fly around this way. Yeah, I don't think you can even lead your targets. Look, there we go. Because VR can take you to fantastic, unrealistic worlds and stuff. And let you do things you've never done before. But it has to be presented in a semi realistic way to make the unrealistic seem realistic, if that makes any sense. You can't have, you can have, you can have two implausible monsters trying to. If they're clipping through each other, they're uh, running towards you in a weird way. Making a weird shit noise. Then it just ruins the effect. How many more of these have I killed? Two more. My gun bullets are over here. Oh. Get off my hard drive. <laughs> that game was shit. On to the next game on that uh, disc since I was planning to buy it, says H Frick. Okay, um, let's try, let's try Dext, I mean, Corix looks like, okay, let's do Corix first, because Corix looks like something that I probably will, um, get a bit bored of quickly, to be honest. So, Unearthing Mars and Dext look like games that may last me a little bit longer. Corix, what is Corix? Oh. Uh, more on Corix below. Overview. Check back soon. This game's been out since 2017 and you don't have a... Oh dear. No. Hello. I love Corix, but I have no one to play with. Aww. 
There's a few people that play Corix then, and I guess uh, it's got some fans. Just not many people are playing it. Copying from disc is complete. All right. Let's try it. Let's see what. Let's see why that person likes Corix so much. Home sweet home. That was a scary game. I know Ian probably wouldn't want to, but I'd like a continuation of the game that had the giant monster dick in it. Uh, I think I completed that off stream. I definitely played it off stream. Maybe I didn't complete it totally. I think I did. No, I, d I did. I, I played it off stream and completed it already. So, ooh, it's one of these. What the? Okay. Corix. Multiplayer, skirmish, campaign. Oh, oh, <gasps> Stella Vija. Okay. Options. Ooh, your faces, look at that. Okay, alien face music, quiet, medium, loud, smooth, level rotation, normal, normal. Uh, back. Okay, let's try Corix then. New. Medium. Show us what you got, Corix. Make this multi pack worth a purchase. Follow. Destroy the enemy base. Follow instructions on controller. Oh, that's cool. Place base to start. If this is my base. Tutorial started. Mission destroy the enemy base. So is this tower defense or something? Hold the triangle button to open the unit menu. Worker. Okay, this is tower defense, isn't it? Pressing the T button will spawn a worker. Oh. And there you look at the little guys. Hello, little guys. Oh, little Thomas was alone. Uh, warning, energy pod will eventually run. Can they collect energy from the pod, but it will eventually run out. Now clear your selection. Toggle energy collection by pointing at the crystal and pressing the T button. Off. On. Off. On. Okay. Now hold the square button to open the build menu. Wall 10. Using the T button, place the wall. It's blocked us in now. You can clear your selection by using the circle button. Walls capture territory as well as offer protection. Now open the build menu again. Laser. Place the laser on the wall. Now clear your selection with the circle button. Okay. Walls, turrets, and base up. Bases can be upgraded. Select the upgrade tool from the build menu. I'll upgrade that. I'll upgrade that. Ah, oh, I got killed. Is that going to center my view? There we go. Feels like my gun keeps drifting to the side. Uh, whatever the hell this is. It's quite a cool, quite a cool little model. Uh, hold here to rotate the map. Whoa! Now open the unit menu again. Soldier. Hey, so then you spawn one soldier. Whoops. Units will attack the closest enemy base. Note. Can also target with the T button. Oh, I, can't, I don't think they can get through the wall, chap. Be careful not to block units in. I did that. Is there any way to unblock? Now build up your defenses. How can I get rid of. Ah, here we go. Destroy tool. Okay, now they're gonna go, are they? One's gone. He's off to destroy the enemy base. See you later. Now build up your defences. Okay. And 
freezer. They are not going to have a stand a chance. Did my... Oh no, he's... Oh, he was attacking it, but he totally got killed. Uh, tip, you need more workers, so that's that one. I think I shouldn't have spent all my money on guns. I'm pretty well protected now, but I don't have any soldiers. I like uh, I like the kind of VR games that let you kind of get right in and inspect things like you're above a little model. One of the first VR games I ever played was um, on the Oculus Rift test kit and uh, you know the dev kit. And it was Toy Box Turbos. Uh, it was Toy Box Turbos, which is like a little micro machines ripoff. Almost, well, it, well, I can't really call it a ripoff because it was made by Codemasters, who made uh, who made uh, micro machines. But you know. It was still basically a carbon copy. And anyway, uh, that was really cool because it made you feel like you were stood in someone else's living room looking at a little miniature racetrack. It was very sweet. Why can't I make any more... soldiers? Oh, look at these big lads coming in. We're battering them. They're slowly dying. Uh, if I just build like a wall all the way over here and then stick a gun on it, is that going to work? Didn't seem to want to. Okay. What's that do? Build a laser in range of the enemy base using walls, then hold the X button to attack the base. Oh. I done that. Oh, there, you're hitting the wall, look. Oh. Okay, they're attacking my wall, that's not on. Upgrade, 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 and attack the base. Okay, I'll let those ones get dealt with by my ultra turrets down there. Or this one. Oh, that's spewing out his knees like, no! We must protect the mother base! Ah, oh, so close. And shoot shit out of it, mate. Ooh. Finish the first campaign level. Eh, that was decent enough, I guess. That was a quite inoffensive. Visually basic, but nice kind of galaxy kind of thing going on up there. If you like tower defense type games and like kind of, you know, God mode style games where you get to lean down over things. It's all right. Not my type of game, but this is uh, this is a good example of tower defense done all right in VR, I think. I'll never play it again, but it seems all right. <laughs> all right, what have we got next? Why is that paused? Is it because this is playing? Let's close application. Let's see how people. Well, let's see what people thought of that. Excellent base murdering, Ian, says Emma Benton. Thank you. 
This doesn't look like it will rock your world, but it's suitably pleasant, says that fruit bat. My thoughts exactly, fruit bat. Um, what else have we got here? GG Ian, says Vandal. GG Ian, says fruit bat. I like the game Out of Ammo on PS4. It's similar to this, but you can go into the soldiers and see the first person view. I've got that, um, but uh, it was really glitchy for me. Hopefully it's been fixed. Corix is $15.99. On the PlayStation Store. Really? Wow. Well, this box set's much cheaper than that. Oh, I don't know if it is cheaper than that, but I bet. Um, I bet the whole box set's like fifteen ninety nine. The compilation box set can't be much more. Maybe twenty five ninety nine. I like the music for this. It's like, concentrate, your tiny team needs you. Nice. Uh, Alright, how's that doing? Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, what have I sat on? Oh, okay, right. So we'll do Dext. I think we'll do Dext. We'll do Dext. Blue and red. Like fire and ice. Like, uh,. Some kind of what was that game? Reminds me of was it, reminds, that art reminded me of the game Fracture for some reason. I don't know why. This is made by Ninja Theory. Okay, interesting. Ninja Theory, of course, uh, do the DMC games and things like that. Did they do Senua's Sacrifice and make that VR compatible as well? Ooh. This is very pretty. This is options. Music on, sound effects on, dual shot four words, control check on, auto turning on. I don't know what that means. So I played the tutorial. Over a plate tutorial. Let's see what it's like. I'm playing all these games for the first time. Welcome to the tutorial. We've got fire, we've got ice. You can rotate the game camera by pressing square button. Uh, uh. Oh, uh, 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 what the fuck? Is that rotate? What the? How's that rotating? It's a weird way to rotate. Anyway, hold T button to tag the enemies and release it to destroy them. Oh, it's like um, this. And you got to destroy ice ones with ice and fire with fire. Yes, so if you are hit by a fireball, you will lose points. If you are hit by an ice bolt, your score will freeze. Oh no. Enemies will attack a matching, deflect a matching attack back at you. Use the move button to block the attack using your shield. 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 Okay. Tagging attacked enemy can be cancelled. Fire enemy can be cancelled. Tag this enemy by holding T button. Press X to cancel the tag. Okay. Tag ice enemy. Circle. Okay, so it's a different thing to turn. Congratulations, the tutorial is complete. Okay, so it seems like it's like a fire and ice. Shoot them up, res. Like, kind of like res, where you tag them. Oh. Oh, this is quite pretty. Um, seems first impressions are it's it's missing like a some kind of trippy soundtrack. Maybe that'll come. Why am I not taking those? Why 
Why is it? Oh, because I'm, I'm firing ice at ice, that's why. I'm fire at fire. I'm trying to match the colours, like an idiot. I want to not match the colours. Oh, wow. Cool. Big whale. Whale, whale, whale. Water surprise. Big combos. This is just like a. It's quite a sedate rail shooter. Uh, so we want a blue, blue, red, red. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Blue them, blue him, red him, blue blue. There you go. How's my oh, how's my health? Do I have a health bar? Okay, so oh god, that's that. You can look all the way back behind you if you want, but why you'd want to do that? I guess if you're really desperate to chase scores. I like the idea of mixing up the different targets so you go for hot ones and cold ones. Not a hundred percent sure about the fact that there's fire under water, you know. Uh, not sure that would work in real life. Basically rubbing my move controller against my trunk aiming it down here. Clear the winkles off this whale. Got most of them, mate. Turn yourself around. Oh, flying through the ring. The ring is a magnificent beast. Uh, was it bad? Was that easy? Was it? I'm actually going to change it to, uh, in the options, I'm going to change auto to, oh, auto turning is on, oh. didn't feel like it was on, arcade, underwater, forest, snow, Let's say arcade. What's, what's, the, what's arcade? Normal. For beginner players, they need to prove it. Familiarise themselves with the dext mechanics. Oh, not another tutorial. Four enemies enter the arena, spawn locations are highlighted. Alright. Eventually, enemies will try and leave the arena. If they escape, you will lose some health. Oh. Ow! Bastard. Shoot fire at a fire enemy instantly burn some score. Oh wow, that sucks. Ow! Shooting ice at an ice enemy instantly freezes your score. Oh no. Oh god, the score's froze. Ow! Double insults to injury. You can become overwhelmed by enemies. Oh. If you become overwhelmed, you do by pressing fire move. Oh. Boff. Okay, so that's like a smart bot. Freeze enemies. Boff. Frozen enemies cannot move for a short amount of time. Shoot these enemies now. Oh, got I thought it was Detective Pikachu for a second. It's the skull of Detective Pikachu. Boom. Pika, Pika. Shooting a firebolt at a bomb will cause it to explode. But also damage you. Throwing an ice bolt at a bomb will disable you if it's detonated for a short time. And then shoot a firebolt. Congratulations, you are now ready to battle in the arena. I do love battling in the arena. Hey, Hebrew Hammer! Alright. 
What have we got here? So, boo -boo -boo -boo. needs like some badass tunes, like Tetris effect. Here we go. Kinda. Got the, oh, the audio levels. There's a detective Pikachu. Got it perfect. Perfect. see people kind of enjoying this game getting like the headphones on really loud and tripping out to it. Not sure it's as as effective as something like Res. But I'm having fun. Arena dickheads. Oh shit, painting all the wrong ones, the wrong colours now. Challenge complete. Enemy kills 27. Bad shots 5. Bad shot. Bad shot. Stage 3. Perfect! Colours. Visually, is, it is on the basic side of things. I felt like my cat was next to me. Right? But it's quite it's colourful and, and trippy. So I, I'm going to guess if you like games in VR like Res or Thumper, or Polybius, then you might, you might enjoy this one. Game over. Final score, 291339. This is not the kind of game I was, um, I was expecting to be honest. They should make a Geometry Wars VR game bundle. Yeah, I'd be well up for that. I'd be up for. It. I'd be interested in more Hellblade. I've seen it a bit in the past. I still haven't played Hellblade. I'd like to play it, the VR version. Uh, but I need to. I probably need to get some 484. I don't think there's many people playing this game. Seven million. I would like to play, um, yeah, Hellblade in PSVR, but um, as some of you probably know, my controllers for my Vive aren't the best. I can play things like Angry Birds VR, where you don't have to use the track pads, but the track pads are battered. She's a little bit shocked by something. Not sure what this control's like. Uh, or if it's any good, but this is the only other game on this disc. This is the fourth game out of five, and I've played the fifth one, and I didn't really enjoy it. It was all right, but it was a bit boring. It's just you just sit there and listen to people tell a story, basically. At least I, I, I that's what happened to me until I got bored. 
That font was massive. That's not a good sign. Unearthing Mars. Oh, oh that doesn't follow the head tracking very well. I don't know if you can see that, but that's crispy. None of these loading screens are like 3D. That title screen wasn't even 3D. Just flat. It's just bloody flat. Come on, Unearthing Mars. You need to be high quality, top tier adventure here. You need to be something with some long lasting appeal. The other things have been. Well, I, mean, I guess Corix. It depends what kind of a gamer you are, really. If you like sedate kind of things like that, then Corix would probably be alright for extended play. Not my type of game. Oh, hello. Oh, I see. This is. Looks a little bit more up my street. Something sci fi. The textures are terrible. And these gloves are rubbish. The gloves in Time Arse. What was it called? Time Combat? I keep thinking Time Growl. Time Growl was a much better name than whatever the fuck it was called. Uh, but yeah, the graphics in Time Growl were better than this. Can I grab that ball there? Oh. Well, you, can knock the, you can smack the balls around, that's cool. What am I doing? Ah. There's Phobos. We're what almost the? there. The fuck? Phobos has been on Mars for a year and a half, ever since it collided with the comet. Right. We've traveled in space for nine whole months to retrieve it. And now, we've got to wait out this freak sandstorm. Freak sandstorm. You're telling me. Over a month in aerosynchronous orbit. I'm so bored, I started weight training in the high G room. We've got food and supplies, but if this damn sandstorm doesn't let up, this is going to be one long mission. It's going to be mankind's most expensive picnic. We came, <laughs> we saw a lot of sand, and conquered pretty much nothing. Amazing! That's not happening. That's the best writing I've ever Phobos heard. Phobos has crucial data which could determine whether Mars was once home to life or even civilization. Right. We came all of this way, and I am not going to let some sandstorm get in the way. The question of civilization has always been a top priority in the exploration of Mars. Catherine, you're the commander here. Yes, Catherine. I'm behind you. 100%. I bet you are, you huh. old dog. Appreciate it. Let's see what the situation with Charlie is then. Co-pilot, do you know where Charlie is? Is that me? You're going to have to contact Charlie and bring his position up on the map. Okay. Let me spin the map around. Roger. Let me rotate the map. Good to know. That's the Mars Lunar Lander. Is that his position? I guess so. No? How am I moving this? I just put my hand on it. Thought I maybe I had to pull it. Charlie 3 reporting, Commander. Current conditions have remained unchanged for the last 10 minutes. Yeah, so the, the graphics in this are really like per second. The maximum instantaneous wind speed like the, it's is like what looking at standard PM definition TV. index is over 640. Instantaneous local pollutant concentration is over 2800. Visibility is atmospheric pressure here is 1100 that of Earth. Even if gusts reach 60 meters per second, I think we can safely pull off a landing. If the atmosphere <laughs> only has a minimal off. impact, we only need to worry about visibility and the G-force. All right, listen up. Okay, listen. I know conditions are a bit rough. Yeah. But we should be fine as long as we can communicate with Charlie and Central. Okay. Like I said, you're the commander. But it wouldn't hurt to see what the co-pilot thinks. After all, it's a matter of life and death. Oh, well, I can't yeah. promise everything will go as planned, but we're all partners in this. Partners? You don't have to doubt me. You know I'm committed to this mission. I want to know, are you with me? I'm not with you, really. I don't really trust you. We can't go back now. I'm feeling adventurous. Let's go. Neither of those are negative. Ne 
Neither of those are can we go now, please. Dit 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 How do we I'm feeling adventurous. All this Martian sightseeing is getting a bit repetitive. Getting a bit repetitive. <laughs> Spoken like a true explorer of the stars. Simpson, begin preparation of the landing procedures for Impressa, please. Charlie 3, calculate the prime landing trajectory and give us climate updates. Co-pilot, T-120 minutes. What Roger, is it? on my way to the control center now. How's he gonna walk? Show us your walking animation. Uh, it was a bit shit. Before departure. I'm not sure there's a game here. <laughs> that VO is so bad. Haha, <laughs> this is H Frick. Uh, Hellblade VR isn't available uh, on PSVR. Uh, the question of Phobos being an artificial satellite has always been a controversial issue among scientists. The Hubble Space Telescope only recently detected a comet on a collision course with Phobos and subsequently Mars. What? As a result, the Department of Space Science dispatched a retrieval team to locate the fragments of Phobos and discover if any civilization ever existed on Mars. Okay. The carrier-class spacecraft Sentra has traveled in outer space for nine months before finally arriving in an aerial synchronous orbit of Mars. Where's the game? However, a sudden sandstorm on Mars has halted the operation of the Mars landing craft Impressa. The crew of the Impressa have been in orbit for nearly a month. Sentra dispatched an AI robot, Charlie 3, to investigate the environment on Mars three souls ago. The sandstorm has forced the crew to use alternative resources like food, oxygen, and water on the spacecraft. Charlie 3 has just updated the weather report on Mars. Commander Catherine and the crew have decided to continue the mission and force a landing on Mars. The most boring voice. Little fist binoculars, little fist binoculars, little fist binoculars, I can see your bird. Mission to Mars. Was that a level? Did I just do a level? Smash that level. Wasn't that wasn't that tricky? I'll tell you a secret. That wasn't quite, that wasn't that tricky that bit. <sighs> Tom Smith says, "Wow, they really know how to get you wanting to play more." Mm -hmm. mm. Juicy. Oh, hello. Impressor, this is your captain speaking. Impressor. Thank you for choosing you. Centra Airways. Barely know her. The weather over Mars is slightly cloudy. With Hello. a temperature of minus 80 degrees Simpson, Celsius. don't forget, everything is being recorded in the logbook. Ah, oh, come on, lighten up, Commander. Don't you miss those old airplane days? Simpson, let's run those checks one more time before taking off. Roger that. Centro, ready to cut power nice. to Impressa. I need a status report before it happens, guys. Got visuals Activating the ship's log. Oxygen, safety <laughs> test, fuel, all green. <laughs> Co-pilot, everything okay on your side? It's well good. Uh, all green, all green commander. commander. Simpson, Impressa here. Everything is normal. Uh, Roger. Centra has cut the power supply to Impressa. Commander, let's do it. Uh, we're finally setting the Impressa down. The Impressa has been waiting a year and a half for this. Feels it like it. finally gets to do its job. Bon voyage and Godspeed. Roger. Initiating detection. My name's David. Co-pilot, yes. see anything unusual on the dash? All green, Commander. Sentra, release Impressa's lock launch. Roger. The mechanical lock on the Impressa has been released. 
Activate reverse thrust in T minus five seconds. Activating reverse, reverse thrust thrusters in, in T five, minus thirty two seconds, Captain. Three, two, one. Deactivate thrust system. Ready to activate propulsion engine. Co pilot, please propulsion. confirm status of heat control systems. Activated. It's 25 degrees. Temperature's holding at 25 degrees. Roger. Propulsion systems all green. Go for departure. Thrust. Space activate. The Impressa is on its way to Mars. Simpson, we'll contact you when we reach the entry trajectory. Shut up. Good luck and Godspeed. I'll be waiting for the good news. See you all in a few days. We'll have this wrapped up in no time. Like them all blue. Blue's better than the white colour. Can we do anything with that? Is there a game yet? Five years preparing for this journey, and nine months in outer space just for this moment. You know, mankind has been watching the red planet for hundreds of years. No shit, son. The human race feels drawn to this mysterious planet. We've spent decades building, experimenting, Shh. and competing just to get here. Just no matter the cost or the dangers, or even if it just turns out to be a desolate rock, mankind has this <gasps> obsession with Mars. The journey to Mars is more like a pilgrimage, the hand slips driving off the human like, race to search its path. Even I'm answers. holding like a grab thing, it slips off instantly. If you hold down grab. Your hand should really stay Sorry. on there. Got a bit sentimental. No matter where you move it to. Go, pilot. We're about to enter orbit. Please confirm the orbital readings. Well, it means you don't have any grip. I confirm the orbital readings. It's minus Entry two degrees. Minus two. Fucking chilly. Ocean tolerance mate. plus minus three degrees, Commander. We freeze right. our tits off down Adjusting there, Captain. Adjusting entry trajectory. Prepare okay. for some high G's as we are. Preparing for high G's. Activating high G's speed, tunes. Be careful of red out. Before atmospheric entry, we'll need the aft auxiliary power for stabilization. Prepare to engage. Not sure the, the gabber goes very well with this uh, exciting space music. Oh. I think this might be the whole thing, you know. Press all the buttons, says Lineage, Vineage. <laughs> Reviews are pretty high, says Gavin UK. This is impressive. This game? We have entered the atmosphere of Mars. Kind of Enter, do you copy? Hmm. It looks like the sandstorm's interfering with our communications. Mm. Oh, we no. haven't even exceeded the altitude of Mount Everest. I'm not sure it's enough to reach Charlie 3. Your mouth isn't moving with the words. It's not working. Activate the terrain it's radar. Inside their mouth. We're going to calculate the landing positions without help. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Shit! The left ended. There's a dust devil in the sandstorm. Dust got a devil. Radio in the the sandstorm. The left engine is failing. Oh no. Damn it! I've shut down the left engine. We're veering off trajectory, and with only one engine, I don't think we can stabilize. Fuel flow. Just go with it. Now. No flow rate, forty-five percent. Did that wrong. It's too I'll wrong. save us. Not enough for us to carry the whole land. I'll the save left us. Is still burning up. Dust devils. High-speed cyclones with goddamn microscopic nanoparticles. Oh, not goddamn microscopic Dust nanoparticles. Yeah. Great. Fuck. These troublemakers are almost undetectable. It's just our luck to have found one today. The crossfeed! Fuel's leaking from the crossfeed pump! Shut oh, it no. off! I'll activate the extinction! 
press the warning button. Deleted. What does that mean? Captain, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, that was close. Oh, I fixed it. I fixed I mean, I fixed it. How far off did you have to be? Oh, I fixed it. Oh, I fixed it. Uh, 117. Oh. Looks like the magnetic field in the Ooh. sandstorm is increasing the gravitational pull. Oh. We need to get the nose up. If we reach minus 20 degrees, get we'll be installing it. Am I doing something? I'm just gonna make just hang on, Impressa. We're yeah. almost there. Almost there, allegedly. We have to use the remaining fuel to stabilize the aircraft. I need more auxiliary power. Co-pilot, adjust power to 70%. What? Uh. I think we're on course again. Bark, bark, Not bark, the woods yet. Bark, 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 bark. What, sir, Did you mate? hear that? I think Charlie 3 is trying to reach us. If I pull that down. Yes, I think yes, so. Yes, uh, I think so. The closer we are to the surface, the weaker the magnetic interference will be. So weak. Pretty close. Robot. Charlie, it can wait. We need some help here. Charlie 3. We're making a forced landing, away from the destination point. You are bad Scan for our life savings and come pick us up. Yes, Commander. I will move to your location. Oh, Pat, this is serious. We're at 1,800 feet. What's our current velocity? 760. Airspeed 769. Whoops. This is going to be it. I'm going to need you to divert power for full reverse thrust. We need to stabilize the ship before we crash into Mars. Okay. Ready? Get ready I'm flying my like nose down towards something. I thought we were flying up a hill for ages. Three, two, okay. one. Thrusters now. Thrusters. Thrusters. Well, VR certainly has come a long way since 2017, VR friends. Because uh, that was really, there was nothing to do in it. You just sit there and you answer some questions. It's like a quiz in VR, but with bad voice acting and uh, bad lip syncing. Pilot, the power's out. Ah, oh, shit. Watch your head. Yes, Commander. Are I you will. okay? I think Promise. my headlamp's out. What about yours? Uh, oh. Mine's working fine. Wait, what? Let's hope the cockpit door is still functional. Hello. We need to survey Can the I walk yet? to the lander. Oh, t oh, uh. Uh. Ew. At least we get to move around now. What? Still the oxygen. That'll learn you. What, we, what, what, what am I doing? What's that? Can't yank the crank. Beep bloop. There we go. Daytime. Huh. <laughs> huh. Uh, uh. You can only go to certain spots. So there's no free move or anything. Look at me, Ma! I'm on Mars! Oh, actually, it's just a Hollywood back lot.
What doing? Where going? Boop. Yep. That's Mars, all right. Yep. Sand. Yep. Yep, that's Mars. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of Mars. That's some, yeah, that's some Mars. Yeah, yeah that's okay. There's some, some Mars there. Yeah. Some, what the? What can I? Can I not go there? Yeah, that's Mars. I don't think we can fix this. No shit. How are we going to get back? Exhaust ports. If I stare at the sun, will I go blind in VR? Nope. Well, this game's boring. <laughs> this game is boring. Uh, it's not the rip roaring sci fi adventure I was uh, expecting. Graphically, it's pretty basic. Textures are super low res and blurry. It is like watching, like a, a VHS on a standard definition TV. Uh, it's just not much interactivity at all. There's, you just kind of stand around waiting for things to happen. I, I'm too impatient for that kind of thing. Uh, maybe people who are very patient would be happy to kind of like wander around. But, it's so budget that it. Hold on, let me check the lights. It's hard to huh? Weird. get into I it and lose yourself lander, in the uh, the and experience. Co-pilot, can you see where the problem is? It's either the sensor or a leak somewhere. Yeah, I need to take a leak somewhere. Hold on. Uh, I think the oxygen regulator is damaged. Spit bobbins. Spit bobbins. This is pretty bad. Uh, Head back yeah. to the impressor with me. The backup. Uh, it's exactly what I'm saying, Gavin. Yeah. Correcto. Remove the life support. So, yeah. Uh, I think. Yeah. 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 So let's let's. So Dext is okay. If you like kind of rhythm shootery type things on rails, and Corix is okay if you like um, tower defense games. Another thing, Mars is disappointing, bad graphics, and just boring. Fated is kind of like cartoony-ish graphics. It's like a, a kind of like swords and sorcery kind of magic story. But it's the same kind of like hanging around, standing around, doing not much while other stuff is done. Um, not not my favourite kind of VR game, to be honest. Uh, and Bandit 6 was just not good. So, uh, yeah, not 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 the best selection of, uh, of VR games on this, uh, on this today's Ian's um, streaming VR corner. A little sneak peek there at what's going to be featuring on Ian's VR corner on Eurogamer uh, on Sunday. There. Cheats. A little bit. And oh. This can, this can go. That was poor. I didn't I really didn't like that. Uh, so, what time is it? Oh. Oh. I know what time it is. It's Beat Saber time. Let's play us out with some Beat Saber, yo. Needs a prompt for killing eat crewmates as Nightcat. Lol. And Fruit Pat says, just pull a mer head helmet off. It's a mercy killing. Oh my god, the mods have gone dark side. I feel so liberated. The world has colour again, says Isabel CW1. Well, 
that's going to have lots of colour now because we're about to do some Beat Saber. Beat Saber's bloody, bloody brilliant. So, just needs more songs. They need to up, they need more PSVR songs. Even with the song library there is, I keep coming back to it. Uh, it doesn't look like they've added any new ones. Meow, meow, meow. Let's have a warm up. Let's try rum and bass on X. Actually, okay. I'll do rum and bass on X. So my highest score now is 660,000 rank A with this. This is a six minute wonder song. But, uh, I play it quite a bit, so I'm getting used to this one. I think the best I've done so far on this one is only missing four hits. Can't you say? I can say. Sometimes. Some music. Can't you say? I can say it. So if you're going to EGX, I'm doing an Ian's VR Corner on Saturday, a live Beat Saber beat off, where I'm going to be inviting Viewingtons up on stage and judging their Beat Sabering skills. And the person who I judge to be the bestest at beat sabering is gonna win some VR games for free. So if you are going to be yet res and like a VR, and you either want to have a try on this game on stage in front of people, or you want to show off your beat saber skills and say, "Look, Ian, you're shit at beat saber. Check out how much better I am than you." You can do that there, and you'll stand a chance of winning some games. I've just missed a few there, which is a shame, because I'm probably not going to beat my high score now. I probably don't have my PSVR camera facing down enough, to be honest. I had it up forwards earlier because I was testing out Honor and Duty. Hello, boy. That's my excuse, anyway. I can say. So, combo 67 so far. So, yeah. You get to a cool as fuck playing Beat Saber on stage if you want to do it. Of course, if no one wants to do it, then I'll just play Beat Saber for an hour. I won't mind. But people have that. There's got to be there's going to be a few categories judged. Of course, there'll be points, but there's also going to be style. How stylish do you look? Like? I like to throw when I'm playing this stood up. I like to throw in some dance moves. Ray Ray, all fuck. Ray Ray can tell you how cool I look. And you got to get the spins in. You got you got to get your your uh, your blades, your beat sabers to travel a lot of distance. That's how you get the big points. If you just do little little chip chops, you don't get the big points. Song is technically, I guess, the hardest in the game. Just through the length. Because it's the, the longest in the game, but it also doesn't have an easy uh, mode or normal mode. It just goes straight to hard. And I presume that's just because it's so like, long. It can get a little bit 
overwhelming at points. If you don't know what to do, it's fine. This bit gets a little bit crazy in a second. some of those cool moves I was talking about. Someone said to me at one point, oh, you should tie things like to the end of the move controllers. So it actually looks like you're uh, swinging lightsabers around on stage. But the thing is, I would have smacked myself in the head about 32 million times by now. Sometimes I'm tempted to get the PC version of it, because I hear you can mod it to put custom songs in, but I did look at it up, and it actually seems quite tricky to do. It's not straightforward. I missed a load then. So what as well, I'm playing this sat down. Playing it stood up is much cooler than playing it sat down. It's still fun playing it sat down. It's good that you can play a game like this sat down and not really have any tracking issues. Probably not as accurate as if I was playing it stood up. <laughs> it does the job. Shit cut that last blue one. You get more points the further down the middle you go. So if you just chop a little corner off, you'll pass and you won't miss the block, but you won't get the most amount of points. 6-6-0. Short by uh, quite a bit there, but I missed 7. Uh, the best I've done is 9-4-4, four, four, I think? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's hard on that one. There's Expert Plus now. They've added that. That was in the last update. Expert Plus. Which is, um, I don't even want to try Expert Plus. Have I done rum and bass? So I've done rum and bass, full combo, not missed anything. Hey, I've never done it on Expert, so let's give it a go. It's probably going to be pretty tricky. It does come at you quite fast. Uh, so apologies if I don't speak as much during this one, because I may need to concentrate a bit more. This one likes to throw in the occasional um, swapsy, which can really screw you over. Fire the cannons! Oh, I missed one. Yeah, the hard... Oh, there you go. There's a little sloppy, sloppy one. So it helps to kind of look forward a couple to try and like judge where it's going to be but the more I play this game the more knowing which one I'm going for becomes automatic my controller floated away from me a little bit there good sign oh fuck That was a bit of a cheeky one, they were sticking blue ones in the other side where I'm expecting red ones. Fucking hell, that was a beast. Come at me, Bloodlocks. Blood oh, fuck. 
fucking hell. Ah, oh, shit. It's when, when you miss one, and then it, like, kind of goes into, like, a, a chain reaction of you missing loads, because your brain is suddenly like, oh, what's gone wrong? How, am I, how can I catch up? Yes! First time I've ever done that. Uh, how did I do though? Expert 374, rank A, not bad. I missed 10 in the end there, so that's alright. What time is it? Uh, there's enough time to do one more, I guess. Saul Reed is watching. Saul Reed's a big uh, Beat Saber fan. Uh, he likes this. He likes this game. He, is, he says, Ian, you have improved hugely. Hopefully. I don't know if Saul Reed will be able to, but uh, he did say he'd want to challenge me. At, I don't know if you were here earlier when I was saying we're going to be doing the Ian's, Ian's VR Corner Beat Saver beat-off at EGX Rest. So if you want to strut your stuff and possibly win... Th what games are they? I've got like a pile of games here. Moss is one, Blind is another, and there's another one somewhere, but it's fallen down the back. So yeah, it's like a bunch of VR games to win. Should we? Should we oh, okay, I'm just gonna try Expert. Expert Plus, for some reason. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Wowzers. Okay, Expert Plus is for nutters. Right, yeah, maybe I'm not ready for Expert Plus. <laughs> so I've got an A on it. So this is Expert KDA. Uh, another one I've not done. In private or on stream. I've probably tried, but who knows why I failed at last one. Oh shit, fuck! Oh god. So whenever they throw a little uh, change up, then I lose it. So put your legs on my face. God. I, I did a I did a left right cut instead of an up cut. Oh fuck! <laughs> it was they were so high up. They were so high up. I think oh, they were that oh. oh. Right, let's do one on hard that I've never done before. I may go another one. I need to be calm, okay? So, two seconds. Right. Sorry. Right. Okay, here we go. I need you hard. Let's do this. Restart. This seems quite an angry beat. It's going to encourage some hard, fast. <laughs> Sharp spins. Oh fuck, why did I do a three then? Absolutely brain farted then. Not too bad so far. It's 
manageable. The only cock up I've done so far is through my own stupidity rather than being too tricky, I think. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da. I must have tried this one before because I recognise the music, so I reckon it might be about to go crazy. Oh, fuck! Yep, there we go. It's little cheeky swifty swappies. So if you do pick up the PlayStation VR ever, if you haven't already, this game has to be 100% on your must-buy list. It is, um, it's just, it, the concept is so simple, but it's just ludicrously fun. It does get boring. What time is it? What time is it? Oh, there's enough for... There's enough for one more. Oh, no. I've done Beat Saber on that. Angel Voices is the one. Yeah, I've definitely not done any full combo on that one. Big swipes, big points. Big swipes, big points. I can't. I don't know why I haven't done this. Yet. Seems like one you'd probably gravitate to first, considering it's called like Beat Saber or something. It doesn't seem too complicated. This game... Hard actually doesn't seem too bad, and then it takes a step up to extreme. And then it just gets nuts. Like, the easy level is far too slow. Hard is kind of like a nice, sweet spot of challenge. Sweet sand. You have the bombs, I think it's like instant death. Instant death. Oh, that was. Was that it? Missed one. Oh, that was pretty. Sounds pretty easy. Let's try. So, let's try one on. Try an expert. I bet I last a minute in this one on expert. Oh, this one. Just another. Not sure why I was missing them, whether it's tracking or I was just flailing my arms around. Da -da 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 -da. But when you like reach like a oh fuck a bit of a zone and you 
you just pop the like smack in them. Over. Hasn't even got to the crazy bit yet. It's already pretty extreme. Points. Big prizes! It's, it's nearly over. Wait, what? This actually. This part isn't too different to the to the hard, to be fair. I mean, this would be impossible for me if I hadn't practiced the hard one so much. But... I'm doing alright here. Part of that's because I've learned the rhythm. The previous goes on hard. Oh. I don't want to do make a mistake and then continue to make mistakes because I'm panicking. Chill again. When the drummer bass bit kicks in and goes proper evil, that's when you've got to really worry. But it's then this game has like about 15 like ah you think you're safe now in your brick moments and then it like chucks away the 15. Well, this is a workout. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Hit one of my buttons, that's not good. Oh, that can kill me, right? Here we go, it's about to go nuts. Fuck. The blue with the red then, but... Down on the red one, I should have gone up on the red. Made a load of mistakes, sir. <laughs> ah, fuck, I keep hitting the. This is gonna scream. Me. Over. 
goes nuts again in the second round. Just for one last little nuts so moment. Control on my knee at one point. I thought, oh no, I'm gonna have paused again. Oh, well, I'm gonna sleep well tonight, I tell you. That's my first ever time completing angel voices on expert. I missed what, uh, 30? I missed about 30, but I got rank A. 720,000. How did I do in the grand scheme of things? Uh, what does it say? shows the top 10. Well, I, I'm like, they, they're like a million. And I'm like quite far behind. So they probably used uh, modifiers and things. But yeah, Beat Saber. Oh, there's uh, there's a lot of a lot of great PSVR games out there, but um, Beat Saber is definitely <laughs> one of the best. Thank you for sharing your first time with us, Ian. Teehee, says Kate Lily. GG and you magnificent sausage. I might try and do that and beat that score at EGX live, stood up in front of you all. Um, that would be uh, that'd be quite funny if I can beat that score live on e uh, at EGX. So yeah, if you're coming to EGX, I'll be doing this on stage and inviting you lot up there to play it with me. Uh, there will be some PSVR games up uh, for grabs. That is happening uh, on the... That's like the very last, um, the very last live show from us. It's on the Saturday, and it's going to be at three o'clock on the Saturday. So you could watch that. You could join in on that, and then run straight to uh, watch Johnny at D and D in Oxbox if you've got tickets for that, because it doesn't clash. So uh, yeah. If you like Beat Saber, that's that you can come and do that. Uh, yeah, but thank you very much, everybody, for uh, coming along and watching me play some a variety of games. Titan Carnage was a bit boring. It did what it had to do and nothing else. Corix was a fun but simple tower defense game that wouldn't really interest me, but might interest people who like tower defense games. Dext was a rhythm action game but better ones like Res, Thumper, uh, Polybius and stuff exist. Uh, Fated I didn't play but it's a story, such a story that you watch. The shooting planes game was Bobbins and Unearthing Mars is just boring and it was the presentation was a bit low as well. But yeah, thank you very much everybody for watching. It has indeed been a wonderful stream. So glad you could all make it along uh, to join me for some uh, for some stuff. It's been great fun. Tomorrow, um, I finished Resident Evil 2 now. So tomorrow I should probably do retro games. Uh, so it's probably quite lucky then that I've got uh, something to do with this out of the loft huh. Retro. bye <laughs>